grocery haul. This is from Kroger exclusively, though there were some really uh, important things that I wanted from Aldi. I love their cauliflower rice. It's so cheap. I don't even understand. Surely it's not gonna last. Just like their frozen raspberries. Too good to be true. I got some kale. It's really expensive, but the organic is less and even more, obviously. Hmm, it's a very wet receipt. I got a coupon. Huh, for something I don't buy. All right, I got really weird with this week. Um, there were just some things that I wanted. I got some vegan uh, patties, some breakfast patties. Since I'm having one meal a day, it's... It's not hard to overeat carbs, but you have a little bit more leeway because you're not spreading it out and like you get fuller faster. So it's easier to not eat so many carbs. And I think I've had these before and they're pretty dang good. I got some Boca crumbles also because I'm really into them and they go with the crushed tomatoes. I'm going to make a sauce with those. I got some of my protein milk. Seven grams of protein, two grams of carbs. It used to have one. I think I say this every time. I'm not over it. My gorgeous lady, uh, so beautiful. Maybe one of these times I'll do a haul where it's less processed. This clearly ain't it. Some mild salsa. I wanted spicy, but they didn't really have this cheap kind. The Kroger brand in the medium form, except for like too big. I didn't want even more weight to haul up these stairs. I got an extra firm tofu. The Kroger that I went to today does not have this super firm. Full disclosure, I might go to that Kroger this week or to Aldi to get the things that I want from Aldi. Some sun butter. Life's candy in the sun's a bowl of butter. Some crushed, no, some diced tomatoes. These are the roasted, fire roasted kind. This is salsa style. I think that just means that it has, yeah, it has jalapeno and Anaheim. For $1.69, that's pretty, pretty bougie with the Anaheim pick, pickles. Anaheim pickles. Anaheim peppers. And to complete the set, sizzling fajita mix, which is so much better than is that what it says? It says get sizzling. Fajita mix, it's so much better than just taco seasoning and the chorizo kind is so much better, but I almost never see it anymore. But Kroger, I swear, used to have a chorizo flavor of like seasoning like this. Like this. Mm. Broccoli. Oh, I want to tell you guys, I ran into somebody I used to go to church with and we were friends. You know how like your life starts changing and stuff gets left behind. But anyway, hi, IB. Let's have coffee and green onions. And if I didn't say broccoli, but I think I did say, I think I said it like really enthusiastically actually. Another eggplant. This might go in the sauce or maybe I'll make baba ganoush with it because I do have this broccoli and that would go really good with some baba ganoush. And maybe I can, ooh, maybe I can thin it out and make a dressing for some kale salad. One, a two, a skiddly diddly do, two poblanos, rumpel stiltskin shoes. We know them, we love them. We need them almost every week and two limes. These were juicy, juicy limes. Ooh! I did it. I got the extra big ones. Okay, for some reason I never got these. Not for some reason, there were a couple reasons. One, there's five grams of carbs in them instead of three. But I also was like, these are too expensive. But they're not. The other one was like 12, 12 ounces, the small ones, for a dollar less. These are a pound and four ounces. So it's like per ounce 
per gram way cheaper or moderately cheaper or minusculely cheaper, but it doesn't matter because I really love these and it's so much more, it's hefty, you know? I don't know how I'm gonna, oh, that looks so sad. <laughs> Description. Okay, there's so many like planes coming in. It rained today and I've noticed that the planes will come in more frequently when there's weather and I guess that makes sense if it's dangerous for them to be up. Maybe they just find the nearest airport and park there. You park plane, you do, we do that. It's, that's a kind of a weird word to say, but they do park, they do. But lately I really, with eating one meal a day, yeah, you get hungry, you do. Like you get pretty hungry and um, Oh my gosh, I just got some decaf coffee because I don't need more caffeine. This is like, even though you know that they use the cheapest coffee for the powdered kind, it's still so stupid expensive, but this was the cheapest one and it is not a main brand, it's the store brand, so that makes sense. Thank God for store brands, right? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I found my raspberry zinger. I saw, um, wild berry zinger and I was like if I have to I will but then I saw this and there was like a lady who was putting stuff away and the crates were full like full and then right in front of this and I I had to work for her but you know what baby you're worth it love ya some mushrooms that I swear to you right here now I'm really gonna try to eat before they get all weird and uh like brown spotty slimy and all that business, no promises. But for $2.99 or whatever they cost, I'm gonna try. Some roasted salted pecans. If there is a vice in this world for me, it's these. I really, really try to limit my consumption of these to like one serving a day. Cause they're, they're not cheap, but they're so good. They taste so, so good. And they're like an indulgence almost to me. Like there are days I will have these for dessert. Dessert. I know I have. Ooh. I got some nooch because of the sauce and the tacos and it would go good on a kale salad. It would go good in fried kale. It does, it wouldn't, would, it does go good in those things. And some peppy, but this is the triple corn, triple corn. Black, white, pink, and green, so quad corn. Quad corn, quad laser, corn, hang, hang out there. Peppercorns. And the truest indulgence of this whole thing, because I couldn't find the Kroger brand, like dark chocolate bar with the organic sugar in it, is the Lily's chocolate chips. These, I think, are zero net grams of carbs. So it's eight total carb, five fiber, and three erythritol. So I think that makes it zero. It, they are expensive. I definitely splurged a lot. The peppercorn wasn't cheap, but it'll last. But yeah, you know, it's so hard to find things that aren't over $5 each. This milk, for whatever reason, is like $4.79 or something. Tell me why. It doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Just trying to make it cute. Tell me why. I think that's it. And my standard. I did make a mocktail out of that watermelon fizz from a week or so ago and another full disclosure moment last week I had lots of leftover items from doing OMAD this is probably going to be too much food for OMAD honestly but uh full disclosure I wanted so badly so badly a grinder salad and I made it happen tell me why that bill for two salads and like a fizz was 48 dollars I got two meals and some strawberries out of that. 
A vegan aids was nine dollars. I do have vegan aids and it'll last, but tell me, explain that. It's oil. It's just soybean oil. Um, that really grinds my gears, gets on my nerves a lot. That the gimmick of like vegan food costs so much more than just like what we consider typical regular food. I'm gonna complain about it until something is done. But I got a plain seltzer water this time. And these had been on sale. I don't know what this costs. I'll put it, <laughs> you know? But this is the whole thing. Hope you liked it. Goodbye.